Today, I'll be sharing some ideas on how to draw mini flowers. So, if you want to draw flower doodles, I'm hoping you will love this video and of course, have fun! This is Melody Tanko and welcome to my channel! You don't really need a bunch of supplies to do this. You can have your art journal if you have one, but any kind of paper or notebook will serve you well. And of course, a black pen, then you're good to go. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be also using my gold and silver glitter gel pens, metallic acrylic paints, and a paint brush. But if you don't have these at home, that is totally fine. You don't have to worry about it. And now let's get started. The black pen is bold enough to stand out on a white paper. But just to add a bit more fun, I decided to create a very simple background for my doodles. So I'm using my metallic acrylic paint pot set by Craftsmart. It comes in 16 assorted colors. I bought this online for about $2, which is awesome. So I decided to divide my paper into 9 sections since I'm going to draw 9 simple mini flowers. I'm just making sure the colors are not too dark so the black pen will still stand out. You can see the divisions are perfectly imperfect. You see colors overlapping other colors. And that's totally okay. I think it makes the background more interesting and more artistic. However, if you plan to color or paint your mini flower doodles, you don't need to create this kind of background. So I did a bit of research and came across an article from artfulhaven.com by Ivana. And in her article, she shares some great ideas on how to draw mini flowers. And I have found these ideas really helpful, so I'm going to go over some of them with you in this video. So anyways, you can check out the description box of this video for the direct link of Ivana's article, just in case you want to know more about art journaling and drawing mini flower doodles. Now let's go over these simple but helpful tips I have learned so far. So you can draw things with a pencil first so you will feel more confident. You can just trace the lines with your black pen later. And if possible, use waterproof pens. They don't usually smudge. Remember that when you doodle, you move your hand a lot on the paper and the waterproof pens are great if you don't want to smear the ink. Now let's go to the pistol. So you can draw the pistol as a plain circle and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you can draw pistols as a group of small circles or dots, you can add dimension to your flower. Now let's go to the stem, which is the easiest thing to do. It could be just a line or two. However, rather than using straight lines, you can use curvy lines because they are more interesting and more dimensional. 
You can draw the stem with one line only. You could also draw it thicker if you want smaller stems growing from it. And for the petals, you can draw big round ones or thin long petals. Include only a few or layer a bunch of them. There are so many different petals that your drawing have no limits. And rather than sticking them next to each other, try to have the petals overlap each other. Draw them by layers, drawing the ones on top, and adding the others below, which would mean that some petals will be completely visible while others will only be partially visible. Also, you're not supposed to leave your petals blank. You can add some tiny lines here and there to make them more interesting. Leaves are also interesting to doodle. They can be big or small. You can add lines or dots. They can rest on the stem or just behind the flower petals, hugging them from below or on the sides. Just remember to draw curvy petals, stems, and leaves. Add dots to your pistols and short lines to the petals and leaves. I believe these are helpful ideas. But these are not the only ways to do those flowers. You can really be imaginative, no limits. Again, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I really think we did a good job. Anyway, I love creating art and I love sharing art with you. And I'm really hoping you learned something new from today's video. And if you haven't done so, please do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. See you guys on my next video.